So Gene Dill, he sat down with the Art of Dialogue, and he was just giving up a whole bunch of information, but it's not nothing new. Like, he said it numerous times on his own platform with Vlad, and now he's sitting down with the Art of Dialogue, and he was basically just retelling the story how when Tupac got hit up at the Quad Studios, Puffy was there, Jimmy Hinchman was there, and Puffy knew that something was going to happen to Pac. Long story short, Puffy was going to Quad Studios to do a verse. He owed, either he owed or Jimmy Hinchman owed him some money, and they had like a, a conversation before he pulled up to the studio, and he was he was threatening him. He was threatening Jimmy Hinchman, and Jimmy Hinchman, he got rank in the streets. He got, he got young dudes to handle his business. So when Tupac was walking in, Jimmy Hinchman ordered some 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 shooters to go hit him up, and Puffy knew about the whole thing allegedly. And Jane Dead was saying the whole reason that Puffy was even there in the first place, because he was trying to make sure that who was writing the records was it Biggie, was it Junior Mafia? Because it was Biggie and Junior Mafia in, in one part of the studio doing records, and Puffy got Biggie in some type of weird publishing deal where everything that Biggie writes. Puffy get paid. So Puffy was there checking that out. He wasn't there supporting his artist. And like, so Puffy knew about Tupac getting hit up. That's what led the whole beef because Tupac, I don't think Tupac never really had a beef with Biggie. He had a beef with Biggie rocking with Puffy because he knew Puffy was a snake. And the other interesting fact that Jane Dill gave up was I didn't know I didn't know that the, um, when, Biggie, when Biggie got killed in L.A., I didn't know that they was out there for two months. They was out there for two months. I'm thinking they was out there for a couple of days than the last day Biggie got killed. No, they was out there for two months. Gene Dill said the only time Biggie was out was he was going to radio stations doing interviews. He was going to the mall. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, they was laying low because this is right after Pot got killed. They was laying low. The only time he stepped out was when, when Puffy begged him to come to the party so Biggie had to cancel a lot of stuff. Even Gene Dale said, pull up the photos. Can you find any photos of Biggie in LA other than that one night? And then he got killed all because of Puffy Greed, man. It's crazy, man. What y'all think about this? It's your boy B. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.